Okay, so approach shot class, a couple of things to remember. Ball position, try and keep that pretty neutral, it's easier. Left foot a little flared and out the way. Narrow stance, helps that low point be a little bit more predictable. Remember, we want the contact of the ball and then the turf throughout our approach shots, okay? Now, the way we can help keep that consistent is to keep pressure on that left side by having that shaft under the lead foot and then just rotating around it so you can see how that's staying up in the air it's going to keep me fixed against this lead side and therefore it's going to keep my low point a lot more predictable if i start to shift my mass here then the, the uh, low point is going to be before the ball so it's a really important thing for you that um, tension how tight do i want to grip the club well, keep it pretty light, four, five out of 10, back and forth. So it's one, two, rather than getting really fast and fiery with your tempo. This is a momentum swing, rather than a full shot with uh, standards that introduce the, the power through the legs. So just momentum swings back and forth is gonna be a lot easier for us to control the club head speed. And if you can control the club head speed, we therefore, if we've got a good strike, can control the ball speed, which is therefore having more awareness of our overall distance. So that's the key thing for you. The opening of the stance, remember your shoulder stays square, but your left foot can just sit out the way. It makes things a lot easier to turn through to impact. The two drills we've worked, talked about is butter the club into the belly button and turning. I see a lot of players uh, leaning back which actually separates the club so butter the club rotate butter the club against the left heel or left hip rotate really really useful drill for you to help feel rotation to your hands into your left pocket rotation to your target speed element keep it really simple you have a get comfortable at changing clubs and changing trajectories so pitching wedge might fly 90 yards but you can get the same sort of distance with an eight iron chest to chest it's going to come a little low with a little bit more release so you've something you've got to practice this and it's all dependent on where the flag is so distance can be controlled by hitting different clubs eight nine wedge um, and it can also be controlled by hitting different distances or positions in the swing so whether that's you've got a full swing and then your approach game, you just have shoulder to shoulder uh, and waist to waist. You've got to train this. This is something that you've just got to put a little bit of practice in to therefore get some patterns and therefore you can start jotting down your yardages. So it's really important for you um, going forward because we can really start to capitalize and waste less from inside 100 yards. Okay, last little thing, aim. The ball will only react to where the face is aiming. So if I am aiming towards that 50 yard mark around in front of me, I need to make sure that I get that club face pointing in line with that. And I can do that by finding a start point or a target line, and maybe that's a broken or a divot or a, a daisy and then focusing my whole routine around my club face so the 50 yard marker it's a club face is in I've got a 50 degree wedge and I'm going to go chest to chest club face is in foot lines a little open pressures on the left side trying to repeat chest to chest pretty good so it's just covering all bases those little basic things that can stop you from missing the green and hitting the bunker, duffing it out of the bunker and two putting. You can start finding the green more frequently. And on top of that, you can start controlling your distance a little bit more.